How is it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Got a different one for you today. I'm going to be running you guys through a lot of the changes that I would like to see made from GeoGuessr, and especially highlighting a video I made almost a year ago where I requested a bunch of changes, and we're going to see what's actually changed in the space of a year. There's been lots of good updates, but still a lot of the things I requested back in that video haven't been changed, so I'm going to reiterate a lot of that and uh, bring up a lot of new suggestions as well. So definitely stay tuned till the end of the video to see a lot of my new suggestions, and I think you guys are going to like a lot of the ideas that I'm bringing to the table. Okay, so let us move on to the suggestions I made in the video from almost a year ago. Well, my first suggestion in that video was the addition of one versus one matchmaking. And of course, we have that now in the form of jewels. And now jewels are actually better than anything I'd really hoped for. Actually, it's I think it's a really well implemented system and it's pretty fun and fair. I'm going to touch on some of the additions I'd like to see to jewels later on in the video, but let's move on to my number two suggestion from back then. And that was a no moving mode in Battle Royale and the Daily Challenge. And we could extend this to jewels as well. Now, I would still love to see this be included. Bearing in mind that a lot of these suggestions are coming from more of a competitive standpoint, I know that a lot of casual players definitely love moving around much better than no moving. However, for us dedicated GeoGuessr players, it really seems like we've been left out a little bit because we love to play no moving and we're forced to play moving if we want a good shot at winning. I don't think it would be too much of an ask to have a separate queue for no moving in Battle Royale and to have a separate daily challenge for people who like to play no moving as well. I do, however, want to acknowledge that they did a good job of including no moving and NMPZ options for private jewels and private battle royale. That's a really good addition and something I'd love to see get added to all the public game modes as well. My next request was for better map stats, and that would just pertain to the little box at the bottom right hand of the screen where it shows the best scores and the best times. I think it would be great to just expand that so you can see more people, so you can be see the best scores that were gotten no moving and the best scores in MPZ as well. I think that would just be a great addition and a very simple one as well. My next request was that the daily challenge would just cycle through different maps or at least be ported over to a diverse world so that the locations would be better. Um, just objectively speaking, a better map. And even though the world map is a classic, I think most people would like to see the change. The next suggestion I had in that video was that the league page would be fixed. Still, this is in exactly the same state as it was last year, and I clearly can see it's not necessarily one of the priorities of the team, which is fair enough. It does not appear to be one of the more popular ways that the game is played. Nevertheless, I think there will be a lot of easy changes to make to customization and quality of life, even such as just being able to leave a pro league. Now, on your home profile on GeoGuessr, you get a decent amount of stats about your win rate on jewels, about how many games you've played, etc, etc. But I think it would be great if more stats could be included. It could track, you know, your strongest countries, your weakest countries, you know, different like average points. I think a lot of GeoGuessr players are stats nerds and they would love to see where they struggle, where they shine and all manner of things in between. I think it would just be a great and easy change to make. The next suggestion I made, which has not been acted on yet, is that there should be like a tick box to uh, make any map into a country streak so that you don't have to go out of your way and download any third party scripts. That would be such an easy change to make. And yet the only maps we can currently officially play streaks on are just the default world map and the default American map. While they're at it, I think it would be great also to add a tick box for the no car script. Now, this is a script that obscures the Google car. And, you know, looking at the Google car is a great part of GeoGuessr and one that I really enjoy, but eventually you do get tired of knowing that Kenya is Kenya just by the Kenya snorkel on the Google car. Like, it'd be great to test people's knowledge beyond that and be able to have leagues where everyone is on the same playing field where they can't see the Google car, because at the moment it's just up to the individual whether they want to play that way or not. My next suggestion was for a chat of some kind. Now, I know Discord works just fine and that I'm pretty much connected with everyone I want to be on GeoGuessr. However, I think it would be at least nice to say GG after a match or something like that or discuss around. Now, I think if this was going to be included in the game, it would probably already be in there. They've probably discussed putting it in and they don't want to. However, it would be my personal preference if there was such a thing, even if it was limited in some way. It'd be nice to chat to those who you are not connected to on a third party. My final suggestion in that video was basically exactly what live challenges became today. Now, to be honest, this was a bit of a no-brainer. Everyone who ever played normal challenges with their friends beforehand knew the pain of one friend just flying off and doing all five rounds at once, meanwhile the other guys were all taking their time. So, live challenges was a great addition. It should have come sooner, um, but I'm really happy that it's in the game now. I do have, like, a lot of complaints about it. Um, it should just become more like Chat Guesser, because Chat Guesser pretty much is what live challenges are, but live 
challenges have the advantage of being fully integrated within the game so everyone can pick up and play without needing a streamer on the other end. So out of the 10 suggestions I made in my previous updates I would like to see video, it seems that only two of them have really been added and that is the one vs one matchmaking and the live challenges. Now to be fair, I want to say that these are probably the two ones I would have liked to have seen the most so I'm very pleased about that. Um, but yeah, I think all the other ones surprisingly are the ones that would be easy uh, to implement and I think that a lot of the competitive um, scene would appreciate it. So now I'm just going to chat a little bit about the changes that I would like to see come to GeoGuessr. So the first one is to remove bots from Battle Royale and Jewels. Um, essentially it seems that in kind of low traffic times of the day when there are not many people playing they like to include bots instead of real humans in some of these games and that gives you a shorter queue time and therefore you're playing more of the game. Now for someone who's quite a poor player or someone who's just a casual player that's really not an issue because these people these bots will probably be about the same skill level as you and you can just play as if you were playing against humans, it really wouldn't make much of a difference. But for people who are good, especially in a duels, there's no reason that you should be playing against a bot. There should be a queue time. If it takes a minute to find a match, that's absolutely fine. Um, but you know, the, the queue should wait out until you find an equally matched opponent, roughly speaking. And then you should have like an accept button, like in many other games, you both accept the duel and then you play. And uh, that would be great because then you get someone who's an equal match, you know, you're, you're playing a, a fair duel. And that way people would just become much less bored with jewels because they would always have a compelling and competitive 1v1 experience. Now all the same applies to Battle Royale, just to a lesser extent. I'm not going to touch on this weekend competitive series that has just been added to the game because I'm sure there's a lot of changes coming to it and anything I say would probably be outdated uh, within a few weeks. But what I would say is that beyond a certain ELO, it would be great if you and your opponent could both jointly decide when they accept the duel, for example, whether to play no moving, no moving panning or zooming or moving because I think a lot of people in the higher ranks would like to play no moving much more than moving around. And uh, as I said, that would be so easy to implement and if both players agree on it, why not? Okay, another minor adjustment that I would like to see to the weekend series, but this also applies to Battle Royale in general, and this um, is a perspective that comes from the people on my Discord server. There generally seems to be the feeling amongst the people on my server that uh, distance Battle Royale is less fun than Country Battle, and I actually harbor the same feeling. However, this is kind of counterintuitive because I always wanted something like Distance Battle. That is actually what I wanted more than Country Battle um, before Battle Royale was even introduced. I always had the idea that a Battle Royale would be fun and I thought Distance was the way I would want it to be. However, you just get too many guesses and I know that's fun for casual people, but when it comes to a group of good players and they know it's Singapore, a tiny country, and they're putting plonks right, left, right and centre trying not to be the furthest away and they end up furthest away by a matter of metres, it's just not a fun way to get eliminated and it's not a fun way to play either. Realistically speaking, I think this game mode would be much better in no moving, as I've said for a number of these things, and also with just less guesses. In fact, I think one or two guesses max would be far superior to the current system where you can have up to 15 guesses on the final round and you're just painting the landscape of the country with every guess you can possibly think of. It's just not skillful and it's not as fun either. Now my next suggestion, I'm pretty sure I may have read on a Reddit thread somewhere that this is not actually a plan for the game and it's something they've discussed and didn't want to add, but I'm still going to say it anyway because I think it's probably a good idea, and that is that there should be some kind of jewels tournament. Now I think, you know, everyone likes jewels, and the idea of like a round robin little competition amongst 16 of your friends or even just 16 random people does really seem like quite a compelling idea. Even if GeoGuessr doesn't make it as one of the mainstays of competitive GeoGuessr, I think it would be great to have the infrastructure to organize these amongst your friends more easily rather than having to sort out some kind of spreadsheet yourselves. Now, I've been in the competitive sphere of the GeoGuessr world for over the last year, and one thing that's always been a dampener on GeoGuessr is the ease with which one can cheat. Now, I don't really think there's an easy update or easy fix that the GeoGuessr team could do to, to alleviate this problem. However, I also think that there could be possibly some ways that you could mitigate cheating in duels, for example, forcing people to be full screen when they play it or something like this. And this is not necessarily to combat Googling or something like that, although that's a problem in itself, but also to combat those who are using actual hacks that give them the exact coordinates of the location. It's just not fun and, you know, it's not my biggest gripe ever. Like, if I have to face a cheater, I don't, I don't really get too mad. It's just like, they're wasting their time. At the same time, 
it would be better for the overall look of the game if there wasn't always these question marks over certain players' names because people think they are cheating. Okay, just two more update suggestions before I end off the video. One of them has to do with the Unity script, which is a fantastic new script introduced by a community member uh, just within the last few months. And that script includes a bunch of nice things with unofficial coverage. For example, you may have seen some of these videos where people play with satellite imagery, or also where people are playing with, you know, Baidu cars for Chinese, Chinese coverage, or Yandex cars for post-Soviet country coverage, and if a guy was able to himself include this into the game, I'm sure the GeoGuessr devs could too. I'm not really sure what the drawbacks would be for including this, but if it was at all possible, I think that would be a change that a lot of people would love to see, and if Chinese and Kazakh and Uzbekistani coverage could be integrated within normal GeoGuessr games, I'm sure a lot of people would love to see that as well. Okay, my final suggestion for a GeoGuessr update is twofold. One, I would like to see GeoGuessr games that would be either less or more than five rounds long. I think five rounds can be rather restrictive, and it's not the biggest problem ever, but let me illustrate the problem with an example. Say you had a map in which you included seven locations that all had cute dogs in them, and you wanted to show your friend all seven dogs in one game. Well, they're gonna have to go over to the map link and play the map over and over until they've seen all seven locations because it's just gonna serve them up a random set of five locations over and over and over. My proposal would be that you could make a GeoGuessr game up to 15 rounds long and that you could order the rounds and make them a specific challenge. So you could, for example, have rounds that are meant to get harder and harder and harder as they go along. Or you could just showcase a particular set of things that are less or more than five. This would also be great for tutorials in my opinion. And that leads on to my next request, which would be that you could include text captions for different rounds. So for example, you could have an interesting fact about where it was, or if you're making a tutorial, you could say this is a Hungarian bollard, this is a white road line in the center, which would indicate that you are in Europe, or any number of things like this. Like, it could be a very great way of learning and teaching the game so that people don't have to go to third party services again. And also, it would just be another element of fun, which you otherwise can't have with current GeoGuessr maps, which seem to almost lack a little bit of personality, in my opinion. Well, overall, I do really like the way that GeoGuessr has been going, and I do think that a lot of the updates have been really good, including especially the 1v1 jewels, and also the live challenges. Definitely enjoyed those a lot. Now, we're not going to talk about city streaks or anything like that. Um, that was a little bit of a letdown, but apart from that, I do really think that the GeoGuessr devs do a good job, and I hope that they see this video and that they can take a few things from it. But guys, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. Now, you guys got to tell me what you guys would like to see coming out of GeoGuessr in the future. Do you guys think that my list was good? And what else would you like to um, see get out of in the future? Well, guys, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. This has been ZigZag, and I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Goodbye.